Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Today we are ball testing, that's right. If you're somebody that just throws down any old ball and plays any type of ball, we need to change that today. I want you to play with a consistent ball. I want you to practice your short game with that ball as well so that you can develop your feel. If you're using balls from the lake, all that sort of thing, very hard to develop feel and good touch. So we've got a lot of options here. We're gonna go through a process that I want you to go through to narrow out which ball makes sense for you. Let's go get started. Alright guys, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell again, as you guys know, just so that you don't miss out on anything. And today I've got a question for you. What ball are you playing right now? What is your gamer? Drop it below in the comments. Okay, so let's talk about what this video is and what it is not. It's not a ball review, so I'm not going to say that you need to use this type of ball if you're this type of player. We'll do that in another video. For now, you'll probably need to do a little bit of your own research to figure out what balls you want to put to the test. Now, I would say I would choose maybe four or five different types of balls and have a few of those balls, maybe two or three of each ball. Just so, just in case something happens, if you lose one or, you know, you kind of scuff one up a little bit, who knows what might happen. But once we have a handful of balls, then we can start to narrow it down. Let's get into the process though. The factors we're looking for when it comes to ball testing is one, feel. If, if it doesn't feel good, then it's not a good fit right off the bat. And remember, a big part of feel is sound. So if it sounds good, feels good off the face, we'll keep that in play. If it doesn't feel good, doesn't sound good, that's going to be a strike off the list immediately. Now that's going to take us into spin. Okay, does this ball spin enough or does it spin too much? That's going to take us into distance. Does this ball fly a good distance for us? Or is it too hard and flies too far? Or is it too soft, it spins too much and travels too short? So we're going to start this process by working from the green backwards. And that's going to lead us into the first part obviously, which is how does it feel, how does it sound off the putter? Let's check it out. Okay, so the process for test number one, which is the putter test for feel and sound, we're gonna choose our balls. We've got all of our balls at this point, and this is gonna start the elimination process. So choose that first ball and grab all of the balls. So say for example, it's a Callaway Chrome Soft X. Grab all of the Callaway Chrome Soft Xs that you have, should be two or three, and we're gonna hit some putts. It doesn't really matter what distance from. Let's hit some short putts, let's hit some long putts. And once you feel like you've got a good idea as to the feel and sound of that ball, then test another ball. How does it compare? Is it harder, is it softer? Does it feel clunky off the face? Does it feel good off the face? Does it feel like a marshmallow? You'll start to figure out how that ball feels and start to eliminate balls that don't sound good and don't feel good off the putter face. Okay, so now we're on to test number two, which is chipping. The chipping test, again, we're looking for feel, we're looking for sound. These are the short green side shots. We're gonna hit a variety of shots from around the greens, high shots, low shots, running shots, shots where we need it to stop. And I want you to go through ball by ball from the same spot. Okay, how does this ball perform? How does this ball perform? We're looking again for feel straight off the bat. Feel and sound, that's number one in all cases. Two, we're looking for spin. Does this ball spin enough? Maybe it doesn't spin enough and it's a rocket and comes off too hot. We're gonna eliminate those balls. Does it spin too much? This might not be the case for many people, but if the ball does spin too much, I guarantee you that's gonna be a problem. So if it's too soft and too spinny, get rid of that as well. Test number three is pitching, and we're gonna do some short range pitch shots, so 20, 30, 40 yards, and we'll do some long range pitch shots, so all the way up to, let's say 60, 70, 80 yards, it really depends on how far you hit your pitch shots. Again, of course, we know we're looking for feel, how does it feel, how does it sound? We're really looking now at how does it spin? Does this ball spin enough? Straight off here, if it doesn't spin enough, if you can't hold a green, 
with your pitch shots, we have to eliminate that ball. Does it spin too much? Once you start to get into the longer pitch shots, is the ball ripping back off the green? That's no good either. We'll eliminate those balls too. Test number four is the seven iron test. Now this gives us a pretty good idea as to what the short irons, the mid irons, and the long irons are gonna look like with this ball. As you guys know, we're looking for feel first. How does it feel? How does it sound? If it passes the test there, we're moving on. Next is spin. Does this ball spin enough or does it spin too much? Is it gonna fall in that front trap or is it gonna land on the green and go bounding through the back? If any of that happens, let's eliminate it. We're looking for distance as well. So if it's soft, if it's spinny, it's probably gonna carry short. If it's not, if it's a hard rock and not spinning enough, maybe it's gonna carry too far. These are definitely things that we need to consider. And once we do that, we're close to getting to the final ball. We've got one more club to test, that's the driver. All right, so that's a pitch mark from shot number one. And let's see, first shot. Uh, yeah, that went in the hole. Okay, test number five is the driver test. And now we should be down to just a couple of balls. We should be very close to making a decision on which ball we're going to play. Obviously, you guys know it. We're looking for feel, we're looking for sound. We're looking for spin, we're looking for distance. So is this the right ball? Is there a ball that stands out, that checks all of the boxes all the way through from the green to the tee box? It feels good, it sounds good, it has the right amount of spin, it's a good distance ball, but I still have control of it around the green. Well guys, that is it for today. Thank you for joining me. I hope now that you've got a good plan on figuring out a ball that you should be playing on a regular basis. Just to summarize, don't make that mistake of using different balls. Remember, feel, feel is touch. How do you get consistent if every ball you use feels differently? Consider that. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you saw today. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know, is there something else that I can help you with? Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. It, it really does help me with the channel. Helps me grow, helps me help you. Guys, of course, until next time, good golfing.